Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. Before we move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. In case you haven't subscribed yet. I mean, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button. Now, also, please don't forget to press the bell icon. Let's start the video now. Exclusive. While Prince Harry was in town on Tuesday, Princess Beatrice flew to New York to accompany her mother, Sarah Ferguson, to an event commemorating Climate Week. Despite being in the same city at the same time, Prince Harry has yet to reunite with his aunt, Sarah Ferguson, and cousin, Princess Beatrice, during their overlapping visits to New York. Sources close to the situation have revealed to express.co.uk that the Duke of Sussex, 40, has been too busy with his packed schedule to arrange a family meeting, leaving little time for a potential reunion before their departure later this week. The tight schedules of both Prince Harry and the Princess of York have made coordinating a meeting difficult, with only one day remaining for the trio to find time for a family gathering. According to one source, a last-minute meeting could still take place, but it may be kept secret behind closed doors. As of last night, September 24th, there had been no meeting, said the source. There have been no plans added to the diary either, so if a meeting does go ahead, it will be something they will be keen to keep under wraps. Princess Beatrice, 36, arrived in New York earlier this week to join her mother, Sarah Ferguson, 64, for an event marking Climate Week. The Princess of York attended a luncheon co-hosted by the Anti-Slavery Collective, a charity she co-founded with her sister, Princess Eugenie, aimed at combating modern slavery and human trafficking. The event also included notable attendees, such as former UK Prime Minister Theresa May. Photos shared on social media showed Princess Beatrice giving a speech at the event, with her mother, Sarah Ferguson, present to offer support. Meanwhile, Prince Harry was in New York for a series of engagements tied to the UN General Assembly High Level Week and Climate Week. His schedule included multiple appearances, where he continued to champion causes close to his heart, including mental health and online safety. The Duke of Sussex participated in a panel discussion on Monday for the Diana Award, a non-profit organization established in memory of his late mother, Princess Diana, who tragically passed away at the age of 36 in 1997. The Diana Award focuses on empowering young people and recognizing their efforts in creating positive social change. During his address, Prince Harry paid tribute to his mother's legacy and emphasized the importance of supporting youth. Later in the week, Prince Harry delivered a powerful speech at the Clinton Global Initiative event, where he discussed the urgent need to address the impact of online harm on children. The Duke called for decisive action to tackle the pervasive threat posed by the online world, especially to vulnerable young people. He highlighted the rising levels of anxiety and depression linked to social media use, pointing to the dangers of unreliable and unfounded information spreading across digital platforms. His impassioned plea for greater accountability in regulating online spaces resonated with attendees and observers alike. While Prince Harry's strained relationship with the rest of the British royal family has been widely publicized, his bond with his cousins, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie, has historically remained strong. Beatrice and Eugenie have often been described as two of Harry's closest allies within the royal family, maintaining contact even after his fallout with other senior royals following his decision to step back from royal duties in 2020 alongside his wife, Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex. However, recent reports suggest that the once close relationship between Prince Harry and the York sisters has become more distant. It remains unclear what may have caused this drift, but their lack of interaction during their shared time in New York has only fueled speculation that the cousins are no longer as close as they once were. Despite the physical proximity in New York, both parties have been occupied with their respective commitments. Princess Beatrice has been dedicating her time to causes related to social justice and sustainability, while Prince Harry has focused on advocating for mental health 
and the protection of children in the digital age. As their timer in New York draws to a close, there remains a small window of opportunity for a last minute pro union, with busy schedules and public appearances failing their diarias. The likelihood of a public family meeting seems slim. However, insiders have hinted that if a meeting does take place, it will likely be a private affair out of the public eye. Both the Sussexes and the Duchess of York's representatives have been approached for comment, but so far, no official statements have been made regarding the possibility of a family reunion. For now, Prince Harry's visit to New York has been dominated by his philanthropic efforts, while Princess Beatrice and Sarah Ferguson continue their work in raising awareness on important global issues. Whether the cousins will manage to carve out time for a personal connection remains to be seen, as their New York agendas keep them on separate paths. As the clock ticks down, royal watchers will be keeping a close eye on any developments, wondering if a family reunion might take place before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex depart. So what do you think about this news, guys? Write down in the comments what you think and let me know. Until then, guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turns out to be something after all. Subscribe now and become part of a community dedicated to diving deep into the stories that touch our lives. Your support is more than just a click. It's a commitment to staying connected and engaged with what matters most. As simple as that. So until the next time, hasta la vista.